All right, we're going to solve these three equations. They all happen to have fractions. But we do it the same as if they did not have fractions. We just have to remember how to add and subtract with fractions and with positive and negative numbers. All right, so let's look at this first one. We've got x minus 3 fourths on the left-hand side. So to isolate x, we want to add 3 fourths to both sides. All right, now, that'll give us our x on the left-hand side. We have to figure out what is 5 6 plus 3 fourths. So remember, you need to get a common denominator in order to add fractions. So between 6 and 4, the least common denominator is 12. You could use any common denominator, but I'm going to use the least common denominator. So let's see, how am I going to figure that out? Well, to get 12 here, I need to multiply 6 times 2. And to get 12, uh, change 3 fourths to a denominator of 12, I need to multiply the denominator by 3. So this will give me 10 twelfths. This will give me 9 twelfths. So that means when I'm adding 5, 6 plus 3 fourths, I'm going to get 10 plus 9, or 19 twelfths. All right, let's go on to the next one. Same idea. We've got x plus 2 thirds on the left-hand side. So to isolate it, we'll subtract 2 thirds from both sides. So let's see. That will give us our x on the left-hand side. We've got 6 sevenths minus 2 thirds. Same thing. We need to get a common denominator, which is going to be 21. Now, if you need help, figuring out how to get a common denominator, look at videos on finding uh, the least common multiple of two numbers. All right, so I need to multiply 6 sevenths by 3 over 3, because that's like multiplying by 1, which gives me 18 21sts. And for negative 2 thirds, I need to multiply by 7 over 7. Now remember, this is a negative sign, so I'm going to put that in the numerator as negative 14 over 21. I want my denominator exactly the same. So the denominator is positive 21. And now I've got 18 minus 14, which is 4. So our answer is x equals 4 21st. All right, last one. We're going to add 4 fifths to both sides to isolate x. So on the left-hand side, we have x. Now, I've got denominators of 5 and 15. 5 goes into 15, so I can leave this negative 1 15th as it is, but I'm going to multiply uh, the bottom fraction, 4 fifths, by 3 over 3 to get a common denominator of 15, which is 12 fifteenths. All right, now, I don't have to write equals, but I'm just going to do it over here and write negative 1 15th equals negative 1 15th. All right, so what do I have here? Negative 1 plus 12, okay? So negative 1 plus 12 is 11, so I'm going to have 11 fifteenths. So it looks like those are our three answers. We can make sure those are correct by checking. So we write the original equation for each of these, and then we're going to plug in what we got for our value of x. So I'm just going to write all three equations here to begin. Okay, so for the first one, we're going to plug in 19 twelfths for x, 19 twelfths. And then I have minus 3 fourths. And again, I'll need a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply this fraction by 3 over 3. So that gives me 19 twelfths minus 9 twelfths, which is 10 twelfths. And I want to reduce it. That'll be 5 six. 
and on the right side there's nothing to do. I have five six, so it checks out. Now if I were going to write this um, solution formally, the solutions embraces, I would put nineteen twelfths embraces. Okay, and then we do the same thing for the other ones. How about putting on uh, the video on pause and try, uh, trying it on your own and then looking and seeing if you have the same steps that I'll write down. So this is what the next two checks should look like. They both um, get the same number on both sides, which means our original answer up here is correct. And so if we were going to write the solution in braces, I'm going to just put it up here so it's not confusing. So 421st is the solution to the second one, and 11 15th is the solution to the third one, and the solution to the first one is 19. Well, this is just the formal way of writing the solutions.